This week's massacre in Orlando brought renewed attention to the new need for blood donors. A large, diverse blood supply is critical following any incident of a mass trauma. Donations of platelets are also critical in helping trauma patients heal. Yeah, after I had a, gave a donation of whole blood a few mm -hmm. weeks ago, the Wisconsin Blood Center recruited me to be a platelet donor because of my high platelet count. Mm. I made my first platelet donation this morning, but first I met a young man who's benefited from platelets. Art Neinheis is a tall, lean, healthy young man. When we met him in the Sherman Park garden he tends for his family, he was focused on picking fresh, sweet strawberries. It's hard to believe that just five years ago this vigorous young man was fighting through his second bout of life-sapping Hodgkin's lymphoma. I relapsed 18 months later and uh, it was a little bit more difficult just because um, a lot of the drugs are more aggressive. Those wicked drugs often left Art wiped out, at which point doctors gave him blood platelets provided by donors. Platelets are um, a crucial role, really. Um, they, they really, they drastically um, affect the, the recovery time. Art was on this reporter's mind this morning when I visited the Wisconsin Blood Center to make my first platelet donation. The blood center is in constant need of platelets. We see a lot of patients that are being treated for cancer that benefit from platelets. Linda Gruber is the director of blood donor services for the blood center. She walked me through the basics of the donation process. I underwent an interview and medical evaluation, pulse, blood pressure, and hemoglobin all checked. Then I was placed in a comfy chair with a warm blanket. Oh, nice, comfy. And the machine does all the work. Every once in a while you have to squeeze and it's a process of drawing blood out, separating the platelets, giving you back the red cells, drawing out, and that cycle continues throughout until we hit the amount of platelets that we are um, targeting for that product. And there I was, enjoying about the easiest 83 minutes of do-gooding one can imagine. That warm blanket was nice because the blood that comes out at 98 degrees goes back in at room temperature and you get chilly. I just kept thinking about art. The platelets Really, are really beneficial in just helping you get back on track and just getting uh, healthier faster. There I am, all done. None the worse for wear. Well inside of two hours, I hopped out of the chair having created this bag of platelet-rich plasma. Moments later, I was treated to a Panera cinnamon roll nearly as big as my skull. <laughs> now, platelets are stored at room temperature, so they have a shelf life of only five days, so my donation will be put to good use quickly, perhaps for a chemo, trauma, or AIDS patient. If you're interested in being a platelet donor, the Blood Center of Wisconsin would sure like to hear from you and could use your help. Mm, sounds good. Well, in the